Welcome. My name is Joshua Smith, and I'm Payton Moda. I work at the Northwest Tribal Epidemiology Center to help translate data into something that's useful for the tribes that we serve. This short video is the first in a series of videos designed to help you gather and use health data. To see the rest of the videos, visit the link shown below. So why is this video called Native Health Data 101? Since time immemorial, Native people have collected, analyzed, and applied data. For example, in tribal communities, knowledge is often passed down from one generation to the next about how to hunt, fish, and gather plants in ways that are sustainable, ethical, and honor our relationship with the land, animals, plants, and all things that are alive. Our ancestors observed and tested different ways of engaging with nature. The information or data they gathered is shared with us through our traditional protocols, ceremonies, stories, songs, art, and teachings. For example, our elders might have taught us where and when to establish fishing and hunting villages, how to give thanks when we harvest medicinal plants, or how to gather foods without over-harvesting, or we may have been lucky enough to learn all of the above. Today, we all have the power to continue these traditions in our work to better our communities and our people. In this video, you will learn about the importance of good health data and how you can use health data to achieve your goals. I will also share some details about specifically who you can contact if you have any questions as you work to gather, analyze, and apply health data. So why is good health data important? Like other nations, tribal leaders and staff need reliable information for planning development. Quality health data is an important part of that. Today, approximately 85% of tribes collect their own data to inform strategic planning, develop strong economies, and better the health of their people. A quick note before we move further. When I say health data, what I am really referring to is public health data. Public health data is simply information or data about the health of a particular group of people, such as a tribal community. Tribal epidemiology centers, sometimes called techs, are full of public health professionals that care for the health and well-being of Native people in their region. For example, the Northwest Tech, one of 12 techs across Indian Country, employs public health professionals that serve the 43 federally recognized tribes in the Pacific Northwest region. Like several other techs, the Northwest Tech is housed within an Indian Health Board, the Northwest Portland Area Indian Health Board. NPAIHB is engaged in many areas of Indian health, including policy, health promotion, disease prevention, research, and tracking data trends. We are a nonprofit and are overseen by a tribal advisory board made up of one delegate from each of the 43 federally recognized tribes of Oregon, Washington, and Idaho. Our board guides our work and helps us to be accountable and responsive to the tribes in our region. One of the ways techs, like Northwest Tech, care for the health of Native people is by helping tribes and Native serving organizations with their health data needs. Techs can help tribes and Native serving organizations by working to create plans for obtaining health data, develop strategies and tools for collecting health data, analyzing health data, and understanding and explaining what health data mean. Another thing techs can support tribes and Native serving organizations with is helping transform health data into something useful. For example, techs can assist you with using health data to identify priorities, develop strategic plans, create responsive policies, and supporting your political advocacy, as well as write strong grants, create meaningful reports, and present high quality data to your leadership and community. But what happens if you need help? Fortunately, individuals from tribes and native serving organizations can call upon a variety of data supports. As I mentioned, tribal epicenters like the Northwest Tech are a great resource. 
Techs provide a variety of assistance, often at no costs. Not only can they help you with obtaining data, collecting your own data, analyzing and interpreting data, and translating your data into action, they can also help you understand your rights when it comes to data, because techs are uniquely able to respond to the needs of tribal and urban Indian communities. You can learn more about techs at tribalepicenters.org. If you are a member of a tribe in the Pacific Northwest and you need data services, contact the Northwest Tech at npaihb at npaihb.org. If you are outside the Pacific Northwest, visit the Tribal Epicenter's website to find contact information for the tech director in your region. Another kind of data support you can rely on are state public health professionals. Each state has public health professionals working to keep people in the state as healthy as possible. State epidemiologists, for example, use data to understand various health conditions and behaviors. Some state health departments have tribal liaisons and tribal points of contact who are knowledgeable about working with tribes and native serving organizations. They can help you obtain state data so you can analyze it, analyze state health data for you, and provide tailored reports, and grow partnerships and make connections. Cities and counties also have local public health professionals who collect and analyze data to understand various health conditions and behaviors. At times, cities and counties have tribal liaisons who are knowledgeable about working with tribes and native serving organizations. They can help you with the same tasks as those at the state, but with regard to local data. This includes helping you obtain local data so you can analyze it analyzing local health data for you, and providing tailored reports, and growing partnerships and making connections. The U.S. government works through various agencies to improve the health of people in the nation. For example, the Indian Health Services Division of Epidemiology and Disease Prevention, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's Office of Tribal Affairs and Strategic Alliances, and Regional Health and Human Services Offices. They can help you obtain federal data so you can analyze it, analyze federal health data for you, and provide tailored reports, grow partnerships and make connections, and secure funding. To learn more about additional data supports, as well as things to keep in mind when working with techs, state, local, or federal supports, check out this handout or watch this short video on data supports for tribes and native serving organizations. As we've discussed, health data, also known as public health data, is important for all sorts of reasons, mainly because it allows us to plan, create policies, and advocate for what we need. It can also help us get funding for projects that will make a difference for our people. And although just hearing the word data can be intimidating for some of us, the truth is that natives have been collecting, analyzing, and using data for millennia. Plus, there are many people and organizations that can help. It really is a matter of if you can dream it, you can achieve it. But what if your vision involves obtaining health data for your community? Well, you're just in luck. The next video in this series will help you do just that. Just click the link shown to the left.